Hi guys, welcome to my first tutorial. Uh, it's a coral draw uh, tutorial, uh, creating basic shapes which we'll import into Photoshop. Uh, I've created my document which is 210 by 297 millimeters. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, this is the picker tool, very important tool. I'm going to drag a guideline at the center of the page. It doesn't have to be perfect because we press the P button on the keyboard and it centers it. Next thing we do is we go down to the rectangle tool, there, click on it, left mouse button, and then to uh, refine it or drag it to a perfect square, we press control. And I'll come outside the box here, there we go, and you're thinking, oh my word, it's not central. Once again, press the P button, centers it. Now to go back to the pick tool, press uh, space bar, and there we go, we're back into the pick tool. Oops, I've gone off center. Never mind. I'll pee to it. There we go. Now I want to round the edges off. And there's a great little tool for this. It's called the shape tool. So if we click on the shape tool, this little one up here. And then we can drag. Left click again. Drag the sliders in and out. So we'll go with that one there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So once again, go to space. And we're back into the uh, pick tool. Right, I'm going to add perspective. Now, I, I use so many programs, I, I, I can't do shortcuts. I could do, but I get so confused. So, I like to do it the easy way. Go up to Effects, Perspective. Now, to restrain the perspective uh, equally, if you press Control and Shift, as you can see, grab a node and just drag it in. Yeah, that's great. Pick tool again. And then we have our shape. Drag it about, do what we like with it. Uh, press P, centers it. Now I want to do a copy of that for um, the lid. We'll call it a cologne. We'll do a cologne bottle. So uh, there's two ways of doing this. We can either copy and paste it, which I'll, I'll show you if you like. It's uh, right click, copy, and then this little box here for paste. And there we have it. We'll delete that, press the delete on the keyboard. Or basically, we select it again and press the plus button on the keyboard. There we go, another perfect copy. We'll just drag the little handle down to make it smaller, so it looks like a lid. Now, there's something quite important here I forgot to mention. If you go to this box here, it's called the snap box. You can either snap it to the grid, snap it to objects, snap it to guidelines. I've got snap to objects clicked on at the moment. There we see it. Anyway, we want to have a little neck in there because most of them have necks, don't they? So we'll go again to this little rectangle tool and I'm going to zoom in using my, my mouse wheel on that area there. So there we go. And we'll just create a little little box like that. That will be our, our neck. Go to the pick tool and we'll just drag that, in fact we'll drag it centrally down to there and we want to merge those two objects together. So on the right here I've got my shape tool. Now the shape tool, I've got a number of applications here. If you go up to Windows, Dockers, which is the one just underneath the color, color palette, you'll see them highlighted uh, down the right here, sorry Dockers. And oops, a daisy. And then we have my shape tool. Now I'm going to weld that to that. So underneath this little uh, sub menu, you've got all the different things. I'm on weld, as you can see. And I'm going to weld it to this object here. So press weld, click on there, and there we go. And I'll zoom back out using my mouse wheel. And there we can see it's nice and welded. Now I'm going to join that onto that bottle there. So once again, select it using the pick tool, there, there we go, and then just just gently bring it down until it snaps into place. There we go. Now if I want to, I need to group these objects to export them, and basically there's two ways of doing it. You either double click on the pick tool, like that, and that selects them all, I'll come out of there, left click outside the box, or you drag Hold the left mouse key down, and that groups them all. 
and then up the top there we've got a little box there which is called grouping we click on it group and they're all grouped together there we go and then we'll just press P to send it back in the middle and then we'll export it and basically exporting is quite simple uh, there's a little box at the top and the bitmaps export there you can see it export and now we'll call that Cologne or if you're Welsh like me Cologne and we'll save that as a, a PSD Adobe Photoshop obviously you've got different uh, different formats here uh, Word, Col, Word, Macintosh, Picture Publisher, JPEG but we want to save that as a uh, PSD so where have I, oh there, there it is, yeah. there we go anyway let's export that once again right hopefully that's exported it so we'll come out there we'll minimize that and I've saved it in this file folder there there we have it and now I'm going to cheat and uh, go on to the next stage in Photoshop 